Hi, my name is Mira Ness and I'm a CEO of New York University Federal Credit Union. For many people, managing a credit card is harder than getting one. Anytime you use a credit card, you are borrowing money you must repay. If you don't pay your balance in full each month, your creditor will add interest to the total amount you owe. I would like to introduce you to Julia Baldina, our operations manager. Hi, I'm Julia. It's important to remember that credit cards aren't the problem. It's how we use them, or in some cases, misuse them, that gets us into trouble. The goal of this webinar is to give you the tools to use credit cards wisely. Ideally, credit cards should work like a driver's license. We should have to pass a credit education test before getting a first credit card, like having to pass a test before getting a driver's license. Here are the prerequisites to using credit cards. Have a written plan to track your spending. Live within your means. Have an adequate emergency fund. Our society relies on credit cards for many purchases, and they can be a terrific tool as long as you don't get seduced by their convenience and take precautions to avoid fraud. Let's start with the advantages of credit cards. They allow us to buy now and pay back later. They're widely accepted. We can carry less cash. They offer reward programs. Let's start with the advantages of credit cards. They allow us to buy now and pay back later. They're widely accepted. We can carry less cash. They offer reward programs. However, credit cards require us to exercise caution. Only charge as much as you can afford to pay in full each month. Credit cards tend to encourage impulse buying, which can lead to overspending. Credit card costs can be high. However, the true cost of credit cards must be disclosed in the credit card agreement. Look for these fees and other charges before you apply. At the end of the webinar, you can download additional information about the specific fees to be aware of. Making minimum payments on credit cards may seem like an attractive convenience. You may think, at least I'm making a payment, but let's take a closer look. It's like running on a financial treadmill. Let's say you owe $5,000 on a card. There's an 18.9% interest rate and your minimum payment is $200 each month. Even if you don't make any additional charges, it would take you 11 years and 5 months to pay off the balance. By the time you make the last payment, you will have paid $8,109. Experts advise that you always pay more than the minimum. And better still, only charge as much as you can afford to pay in full when the statement is due. So when looking into acquiring a credit card, determine to pay off the balance. By the time you make the last payment, you will have paid $8,109. Experts advise that you always pay more than the minimum. And better still, only charge as much as you can afford to pay in full when the statement is due. So when looking into acquiring a credit card, determine how much credit you can afford. Then determine how you intend to use the card. These three terms will help you figure out which card is best for you. Revolver. If you always carry a balance, get a card with a low interest rate, annual fee matters less. Partial revolver. If you sometimes carry a balance, get a card with a low interest rate. Non-revolver or convenience user. If you never carry a balance, get a card with no or a low annual fee and a grace period. The interest rate won't matter. When shopping for a credit card, always compare interest rates and understand the fees. Be proactive in your search for a card that's right for you. Contact the credit union for information about credit cards issued there. Unlike using cash checks, cashier's checks, money orders, or debit cards, you have certain federal protections with a credit card. Here are some points to keep in mind to avoid fraud when using a credit card. Protect your PIN and account numbers. Shred receipts that are no longer needed. If you use your card for online purchases, make sure you know who you're dealing with. Keep phone numbers to cancel cards in a safe place. Check statements for accuracy. There are other ways to protect yourself from credit card fraud, and these tips can be downloaded at the end of the webinar. 
If you do find your credit card compromised by a thief or lose your credit card, call the card issuer immediately. If you report the loss before a thief uses it, your liability is zero. If you report it within two business days, your maximum liability is $50 and $500 if you report it after that. If you wait until after 60 days of receiving your statement, liability can be unlimited. If you want to close a credit card account, be aware that plastic surgery doesn't cut it. Instead, write a letter and tell the issuer to notify the credit bureaus that the account was closed at the customer's request. Follow up. Check your credit report to make sure the account was closed. However, experts advise not closing some accounts or you could end up lowering your credit score. Keep accounts with a good payment history, particularly those you've had a long time. If you do find you're having trouble paying off a credit card, the worst thing you can do is to ignore creditors. Call the creditor before they call you. Work out a repayment plan knowing what you can afford to pay. Ask for help from the local consumer credit counseling service to negotiate with creditors. Stop using credit cards. Don't add new debt. Call the number at the end of this webinar to reduce the number of pre-screened credit card offers you get in the mail or go to optoutprescreen.com. Thank you, Julia. At the NYU Credit Union, we aim to help you with your credit needs and answer any questions you might have. We would like to offer you a certificate to help give you a fresh start with your credit. At the end of the webinar, print out your certificate for 0.5 interest rate reduction on bill consolidation loan to consolidate your existing credit card debt at NYU FCU subject to approval. Thank you for your time. You can always call us at NYU FCU at 212-995-3392 or visit us online at nyufcu.com. Please do not hesitate to contact us about your credit options or to consolidate your existing credit card debt using your certificate. We're looking forward to assisting you at NYU Federal Credit Union.